Peace, this is Liam 2.0, and welcome back to Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery on my phone. So, of course, if you don't know, this is the new, well, it's actually not that new anymore. Well, it's the Harry Potter mobile game, and it's really fun. It's, um, it's a little bit annoying because it has this energy system, but I'm sure if you guys have seen anyone play this game before, you understand how it works. Um, but if not, I'll explain really quickly. So... Uh, in this game, you're basically going through your life at Hogwarts, so not Harry Potter's story, not some other character, your life. So you create a character that looks like you and name it yourself, and um, you can interact with students and teachers and go to classes, and there's even a story that you have to follow. So in this video, I will not be doing any story because I don't want to spoil anything at all. But, um, I will be finishing up this Care of Magical Creatures class, taught by Professor Kettleburn. And if you are a Harry Potter nerd, then you might know that this is the first time that we've actually seen Professor Kettleburn in, like, actual, uh, canon game, I guess. If you don't know what canon means, it just means, like, official inside of the Harry Potter storyline. How much energy am I, am I gonna be left with? Probably not much. Okay, wait, I just clicked off. We're gonna smile really quick. Rowan says you can't learn this in a book, and then I think that is pretty much good. We're gonna get, uh, we'll get some knowledge, because why not? And there we go, that should be the end of the class. We're gonna answer a quick question. Um, which of these spells does not make something smaller? Uh, Reducto, because it explodes things, of course. I know my Harry Potter spells very well, if I do say so myself. Brilliant! <laughs> I'm glad we have Professor Kettleburn's approval. Okay, and I got some courage for that as well. So every class gives you different types of attribu uh, attribute points. And actually, the game was just updated a couple of days ago, so now there are a couple new things. Uh, speaking of attribute points, when you buy new clothes for your character, then you can get attribute points. And also, they've just added pets to the game. That's right, at the end of this episode, I'm gonna go buy myself a pet. But for now, I need to go and collect a bunch of energy, so... If you guys have not seen the secrets of Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery video, uh, I'll link in the eye in the corner of the screen. But there are hidden bits of energy all over the castle, so you can quickly um, get a head start on refilling your energy. So, you can just see where I'm clicking uh, on the screen. Anyways, go to the West Towers. There should be a painting right there, and I have no idea what those are. Are those, like, oranges? Or, um, they're not... They're just little round orange spheres, I guess? I have no idea. That is a question I've been asking myself for a really long time. Okay, there we go. We have earned 12 bits of energy from going around the castle. Oh, wait, never mind. I had some left over after class, didn't I? And um, now I'm going to go and play some games. And what I mean by that is, well, it's not really playing games, but it's doing an act. Activity? I, I'm not sure how to explain it. So basically, uh, when you're low on energy and you want to do something that doesn't require energy, you can go play these little games with some people to uh, improve your friendship level. So, um, we're going to click Andre. We're going to invite Andre to come drink some butterbeer with us. And basically, it's just going to be like socializing with him. So, um, prove how well you know Andre. Uh, what do I always want to do? Um watch Quidditch, I guess, because he is a Quidditch player. Um, who do I support? I'm gonna say Pride of Port... Por Port Tree. Pride of Port Tree. That is a Quidditch team in Harry Potter. Hopefully you guys knew that. If you're not Harry Potter fans, you should probably leave this video because it's gonna be me nerding out for an episode. Um, you're one of my best friends, Andre. Ask me something you think I won't know. What's his surname? That's your last name. That is Eggwoo. Do you seriously not know your best friend's last name? I can name all of my best friend's last name. That that seems that seems pretty easy. Um, well done, Liam. It feels good knowing a famous curse breaker like you knows so much about me. Uh, you you just asked for your last name. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're not even. Oh my gosh. We're still level one friends. Okay. I guess it's, uh, I guess it should be expected, I don't know too much about him. Whatever, that's fine, let's go do another version of that in the lower floor west. So this is like the Great Hall area. If you go over to the courtyard, you can play Gobstones. So this is what I meant by playing a game. Uh, we're just gonna invite, um, what's his name, Andre again, because I'm only level one friend with him. Oh, actually, I'm only level one friend with a couple people. Uh, Andre, Barnaby, and Charlie, and Nymphadora. But uh, Andre's the quick, uh, closest to level 2, so we're gonna go ahead and click him. Um, and he says, let's see if you know as much about Quidditch as I do, Liam. 
Oh, so we're just doing another quiz while we're playing Gobstones. Who's his favorite team? Um, Pride of Portree, I know that. But, like, why would your favorite Quidditch team be a house team? Okay, from Hogwarts. That, that's fine, whatever. I, I'm <laughs> At least I got it right. I shouldn't be complaining. What game predates Quidditch? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Is this something from Quidditch through the ages? Oh, no. Does anybody know that? Know this? I'm not going to say Serpent Sordia, because that's a spell. I'm going to have to go with the middle one. Oh, nice! Okay, so there are two correct answers. So we have Shunt Bumps and Swiven Hodge, because I knew Serpent Sordia was a spell that spawns a shake. Okay, wow. Not bad, Liam. I didn't know you were such a Quidditch aficionado. I should be using British accents, shouldn't I? <laughs> because we're in Hogwarts, but I don't have a very good one. Um, okay, we're just going to do another question. What position does Charlie play? He plays Seeker, right? Yes, he does. So that is, of course, a position on the Quidditch team. Hopefully you knew that as well. Oh my gosh, it's already been seven minutes. Jeez, I love this game so much. I'm really impressed, Liam. We should talk Quidditch more often. And let's see if we can get a level two friend. Yeah, not by very much. Oh, and he got me some gems, too. That will be very useful towards the cat. So, um, like I said, at the end of this video, I'm gonna go get a cat. So, let me really quickly... Oh, yeah, it's here. So, we're gonna go have a meal with a friend really quick. And then, uh, we'll go purchase a pet. And this time, let's invite Nymphadora Tonks. Because, of course, she is a character from the original Harry Potter series, which is really cool. And, um... Are you kidding me? We have, it's a filch quiz? What does he keep in his office? Uh, shackles, because he wants to tie up the students. And fireworks? Why is he a fireworks? <laughs> Just to, like, confiscate them from students or something? That seems a little bit weird. Uh, not bad. Liam, have I been missing you in detention? No, but I've crossed paths with Filch. Ask me something else. Oh, she thought I've been in detention before in Filch's office. Uh, who does Filch hate the most? Oh, Peeves, definitely. Definitely Peeves. I know that. In the original series, he's, like, trying his best to get Peeves kicked out of Hogwarts. And I keep getting courage bonuses as well. Um, she says, I'm impressed. You know more about Filch than anyone should. <laughs> Let's see if you know everything. I'm sure I don't know everything, but I'll do my best. That's a good attitude to have. What does Filch love the most? Um, Mrs. Norris. Shackles was the second best answer. That's terrible. And there we go. I got an empathy bonus and it is all over. Well done, Liam. You're a proper Filch expert. But yeah, nobody should know all that about him. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm going to try to get myself a pet. So the Hufflepuff common room is located in the dungeon, so I'm going to go to my dormitory. And, um... Wow, there are a lot of places to select a pet from. Oh, I see. Can we have more than... Can we have, like, four pets? Oh, my gosh. That would be incredible. Okay, so... I'm not really sure what the benefit to owning a pet is, I'll be honest. Um, oh, wait, never mind. They give you energy when they fall asleep. I know that. It's <laughs> That's a little bit weird. Like, they're giving your, their energy to you. So, I wonder if something's more expensive. If that's, like, if it gives you more energy or something. I don't know. But I'm going... What pet do I want? I don't want a frog. Fro eh. Frogs are gross. Um, that's... I, I'm okay with rodents sometimes, but that one's just creepy. Look at its red eyes. I don't want that. This one I can't actually afford. So, you know what? I narrowed it down pretty quickly. <laughs> Let's get a cat. So, do I just click done? Oh, my gosh. This is gonna be... Oh, that's insane. I'm... Oh, that's so many gems. <gasps> yes, I got a cat! That's amazing! It's sleeping in my dormitory on the chair. Oh, that's so awesome. Does that mean I can't buy a cat anymore? I'll check that in a second. So, um, your pet is sleeping. Tap to wake them up. Yes! Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Petting a sleeping pet gives you energy. Visit your pets and adopt more by visiting your dorm room. Okay, so does that mean I cannot buy- Oh, okay, yeah, so I say I cannot buy another cat. I was like, oh, it's up in the menu, so maybe I can. But no, there we go. I have a cat, everyone. That is incredible. I just spent all of my gems. Um, <laughs> not really. I have like 61 left. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. <gasps> Does my cat come with me places now? Oh my gosh, yes. That's amazing. If I go to the castle grounds, will I go to like, 
What if I go to care of magical creatures? Will the cat come with me? Oh, you can't take it to classes. But that's so cool if I go to a corridor. Uh, the cat actually comes with me. So let's go over to like lower floor west. That's so cool. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you'd like to see more Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery in the future, please do let me know. And uh, yeah, for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!